We are gonna make a rug rug basket here filled with some of my sweaters uh, but you can fill it whatever you like of course. the channel where we talk about how to live an awesome and sustainable life. If you're new here, my name is Matilda and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can make a rag rug basket. So I made a rag rug with the same technique around two, two and a half years ago and it turned out so well. So I got the idea to use the same technique but making it to a rag rug basket because I do need some extra storage at home and I did set myself a challenge. What can I make of things I already have? So I had a lot of leftover yarns, old t-shirts that I made into yarn and also I have a video available on my channel how you can make your own t-shirt yarn because that's is something you're gonna need and I also have a lot more t-shirt yarn as you can see than what I used to make the basket so I'm currently considering if I should make another rag rug or if I should make some more rag rug baskets and if I do make a rag rug let me know in the comment below if you would like to see a tutorial how to make that and without further ado let's get into the tutorial You will need t-shirt yarn, scrap yarn, a crochet hook and some basic crochet skills. Start by making a slip knot with a scrap yarn. Then make one chain stitch and then take a piece of your t-shirt yarn and pull the yarn around the t-shirt yarn. Then make a single crochet by pulling the yarn over the hook and through the loops. Repeat pulling the yarn around the t-shirt yarn, hook the yarn and pull it through the loops and then continue until you have created how wide your basket will be. For my basket I made 43 single crochets until I had my desired width of 40 cm. How many stitches you will need will totally depend on how thick you have cut your t-shirt yarn and how chunky your uh, scrap yarn is. Then turn the work around, fold the t-shirt yarn and make two chain stitches. Then continue by pulling the yarn through the previous rounds, single crochet and around the t-shirt yarn. And then pull your yarn through the loops, creating another row of single crochet. When your t-shirt yarn ends, cut a little hole in the middle of the yarn and pull the new piece of t-shirt yarn through. Here I'm trying to decide which color I would like to use next by holding up different options of t-shirt yarn as well as scrap yarn. When you're making your basket have fun and mix and match colors as you like. Even if you have boring colors or very similar colors of your t-shirt yarn, you can make the illusion of more colors by breaking up the same t-shirt yarn with fun colors of scrap yarn.
If your t-shirt yarn gets a bit bulky, which occasionally happens, and make sure to smooth it out as you go. Once you think you have big enough basket bottom, measure it with a tape measure to make sure. My bottom is 40 times 30 centimeters, so I just need to make a couple of more rows. Now it's time to create the sides by crocheting the t-shirt yarn around the basket. Start by creating a loop around your hook, then I use the end of the last bit of t-shirt yarn to connect with my new piece and then I pulled the yarn through the single crochets on the edge and around the t-shirt yarn. When you reach the corners, do not do the same mistake as I did. I made three single crochets in one single crochet to create a corner as you would normally do when you crochet a basket, but this made the basket sides too big, so instead I would decrease three single crochets into one to create my corner. I hope this makes sense. I've written this in my blog post with instructions on how to make this basket. So this is how the basket looks like after creating one row of the sides. As you can see it needs less stitches to stand up properly and not lay flat. It's 7 months later and I'm finally doing the decreases at the corners to create that the sides stand up. I made sure to put a stitch marker at the beginning of the round to make sure that I didn't lose track of which corner I started working at. Make sure that all the ends of your yarns are tucked away and not pulling out from your basket. If it happens, make sure to tuck it away. the size of my basket is standing up. One thing to note is that you only should do the decreases that I mentioned earlier once and then after that just crochet around until you got the desired height.
you're done, cut off any excess t-shirt yarn and then slip stitch instead of single crochet around the end to tuck it in place. Fasten and tuck in ends of the yarn as securely and hidden as you can. is done. I'm just gonna go over it to make sure that all the threads are tucked in and hidden. And now when I'm done, I'm just gonna fill my new basket with some of my favorite sweaters. so much for watching. I have also written up a tutorial on my blog with all the steps I took to make this. I also have a few suggestions of things I would have done slightly differently. So check that out in the description box down below. And if you like this video and you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button. And if you're new here and you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will not miss any upcoming videos from me. Thank you so much for watching again. And and until next time, hey doll!